Okay, this time I will explain about how to use render in cloud and also how to actually actually export your uh, finished rendering to Photoshop probably as a JPEG or other image file. So if you want to actually probably um, you may want instead of using school computers and wait there for multiple hours, you may just use rendering cloud. And actually render cloud once they've done, they will email you back. Hey, your rendering is ready and they will you can download somewhere. So probably you may want to use this one. I have to say, or more many architecture students in or over all other areas in the United States, they all use this service. Meaning that probably waiting time nowadays just kind of five minutes or one hour, but in December it could be one week or two weeks. So again, this one is very convenient, but even when you considering when you do consider to use this one for your final review, do only. That's the thing. Okay, so to do that, just simply your angle is ready. I will just simply uh, go to click rendering cloud, and you have to log in. I assume that you all have Autodesk ID. This is a long time ago. I did. Under view tab, the middle one. Okay, so it's kind of a oh, iconic icon for all rendering in all other softwares. Yeah. Okay. So once I log in, this one shows that step one: select 3D views, start rendering. Step two: service will notify you when your images are ready. And step three, just update it. So I will just click continue. Then you will see render in cloud setting. So here, what it asks you, 3D view is 3D, uh, which is you are kind of having now. Or you can actually select one of those things by name. But this one is just simply saying that the image you are watching now. And output type, still image, interactive panorama, you can do many different things. I just use a still image. Uh, just uh, test uh, other settings. Uh, on your free time and render quality so also you can do final or standard but you see the difference so now it's one uh, you will have to wait 10 minutes if you change to standard it's still 10 minutes so I would do uh, and also here image size you can do maximum 16 megabyte which will take 11 hours okay. but if I do somewhere large still can be done in 10 minutes so I would do this one and then you can actually change to setting PNG, JPEG, TIFF. Uh, I would rather PNG, this one has a, actually, I would rather recommend PNG because or TIFF. But let's change how does it influence the waiting time. So it does not really change that much. So I would do either, either use P, uh, PNG or TIFF. But I would rather use TIFF. And then I also include ARPA. ARPA is actually all the background he area here is will set in a different channel setting. I will explain it this one in, in the later Photoshop, but I would rather include uh, ARPA channel. Why would you not use um, JPEG? Uh, uh, JPEG doesn't have ARPA channel. So oh, uh, well, that's so it. you were just saying I would suggest PNG and TIFF. Why would yes. you not suggest just because it doesn't have that channel? Yes, that's it. Yeah, simply that's it. And then, yeah, that's, simply that's it. But if you're busy and if it is interior that you have no reason to change background, yeah, why not JPEG? Okay, so that's it. And then just start rendering and email me, then you will, will you get an email from Autodesk that this is the folder you can download. So that's it. So this one is cloud rendering. Uh, 